13 letter word that anagrams into Tucson Latinos. Consultations. Consultations. Very good. Who said that? Merle Regal is a crossword king. The Tucson native wrote his first puzzle at six years old and sold his first at 16. Here is the actual issue of World Week from 1965 that had my very first crossword puzzle in it. The UA alum is famous for his playful and hilarious word games. Then we will play fun and games. Um, Chinese water torture for you, fun and games for me. It's got to be in this magic place, the sweet spot. Hard enough to be a puzzle, but not so hard that they can't solve it. I was making a puzzle uh, a couple of months ago where I had, I was working from this corner and this corner up to the middle, right? And the center answer was nine letters long, and it just wouldn't obey, you know? The gods weren't smiling, and then I realized, oh, you know, the back of your car has rear windshield wipers, so I had rear wiper in the, right there, and I thought, wait a minute, rear wiper, wait. <laughs> he even uses special Tucson clues in his Sunday brain teasers. This week or last week, for example, Pueblo was an answer. Pueblo was like 18 across or something. The clue was, Tucson's nickname, the old blank. Since the 70s, Merle Regal has penned thousands of puzzles, appeared on Oprah and The Simpsons, but he still just wants to play hide and seek with words. So every time a, pu a puzzle solver picks up the puzzle, they don't know exactly what they're going to get, but it's going to be some different little tricky, it might be tricky, might be funny, might be something else, but I'm going to be playing a game with them more than just doing answers out of a dictionary. For Arizona Cat's Eye, I'm Allison Mullally.